Hey guys, I wanted to let you know that last night, Wednesday night Bible study was an absolute hit. Man, we had a, it was raining like crazy. I bet you're like me thinking we need to build an ark, right? But uh, it was raining like crazy, but we still had a great crowd. It was a wonderful night. And so I just want to praise the Lord for people that are so faithful to come out even in the messy rain uh, to get into the Word of God. And I'm sitting here a study in John chapter one, even right now, getting ready for next Wednesday tonight. And uh, I was uh, looking at Andrew uh, when he was with John the Baptist and uh, he was intrigued with the message of John the Baptist about Jesus. And of course, we know that Andrew made the decision to follow Christ. But you know what he did right after that? He went to find his brother, Peter, uh, to tell him about Jesus. And uh, when I was thinking about that, I was thinking about the North American Mission Board under the leadership of Dr. Johnny Hunt that is giving the compelling challenge out to Southern Baptists all over the country to find your one. That is that one person that you feel that you need to go to and share the gospel with and tell them about Christ and give an invitation to them to accept the Lord as their Savior. Can you imagine what would happen in our churches if we really embrace that challenge that each and every one of us determined we're going to go out there and find our one to share the gospel with and to tell them about Christ. I'm afraid that in our churches today, we've insulated ourselves in the bubble of religion and in the bubble of our church and we have forgotten, not maybe not intentionally, but unintentionally, that we have an assignment, and that is to share Jesus with a world that needs Christ more today than ever before. And eternity is coming, and we need to run interference with people to tell them, hey, there's a way to go to heaven. And I want to challenge you in this message from the pastor to really and truly pray about who is your one person. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a coworker that you need to be more intentional with of sharing Jesus with that person. Not to just talk religion to them because I think a lot of times that's what we do is we talk around the issue rather than really uh, diving into the real meat of the matter. And that is, where are you going to spend eternity? And my prayer is that God would place your one on your heart and that you would share Christ with them and bring them to church with you and introduce them to the fellowship of Eden Westside Baptist Church. Just like some people last Sunday did, Ryan and Alyssa Pate, they made the decision to be part of our church family, a wonderful young couple that uh, walked down the aisle and said, hey, we wanna be baptized, we wanna be part of this family. And God is doing that, he's bringing so many people in. So I guess to close it out today, I'm looking forward to meeting your one this coming Sunday as you invite them to come and be in church with you. God bless you. Have a great week. Dry out. It's going to be a, the sun is going to come out and we're going to have a great day on Sunday. God bless you.